Guys, what the fuck is up? It has been literally like, I think like seven or eight months since I actually posted a video. I've been a busy boy, I had some stuff going on. I got COVID, dropped all my friends, got my car wrapped, and now I'm on the Dean's list at school, so I've been working my ass off. And I also have been working my ass off in like actual work, so I make like three times more money than I was making eight months ago in my last video. So I'm definitely a lot happier. But um, yeah, I decided I'm finally gonna start filming. Well, at least for like this week, I'm gonna like take some videos, and I'm gonna try and like section out at least one day every week from like now on. Cause right now I'm on spring break and I'm not going anywhere. So I was like, shit, I got some time to get some stuff done. So I'm gonna bring you guys, sorry I'm all nasally. My allergies are so bad cause it's spring and the weather changes every fucking day here. Literally yesterday it was 70, it is 31 right now. And I have this nasty ass ingrown hair that I've had since the Super Bowl and I don't know what to do about it so don't fucking look at that, it's disgusting. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna take you guys with me to run some errands today and we're going to talk and catch up. It is really early for me right now. I, yesterday I slept on noon. It is 9.41. Oh shit, also, I met YSM Flo. I'll, you can look at the picture on my Instagram. But yeah, I was in one of his, well I wasn't in it, but I was there for one of his music videos. But helping with like behind the scenes stuff and shit, but yeah. Also, my car is wrapped now. I'm gonna do like a different video on that, but it's like dirty right now. And it's like really shitty out, so probably whatever day the weather decides to get a little bit nicer. But today we are gonna go to uh, get my passport. Cause I got my name, another thing, I got my name legally changed because my real first name, I was named after my dad and he's a piece of shit, which I told you guys about in my uh, video of me buying this car, but my dad's a piece of shit. And his name is Frank, so my name was Frank Phillips Jr. And my middle name was Alex, which is what I've always went by. So I um, got rid of Frank, moved my first name. Moved my middle name to my first name and I made Matthew my middle name because that's my favorite section of the Bible. That whole process was um, easy. Like it's good, you just say what you want to change it to, you go to court, get some proof. The hard part is like, I had to make new bank accounts, I had to get my like whole entire stuff with my car redone, like call your insurance, call your creditor. Oh shit. I had to go back to my house because I just realized I forgot. Another thing I had to do, I have a second car that I bought for like winter because I didn't want to drive this in the snow. But um, I fucking left my paper. I had to switch the insurance today. It's okay, we're gonna pass my house again anyways. So I had to go. There isn't a Starbucks on my way, so I had to stop and get Dunkin', which I'll show you my guys my Dunkin' order because like it's weird, but I'm, I'll tell you why it makes sense get it and then you have to do it too because it's actually gross if you do it any other way but I wish I had like another necklace I can make one more I can't drive today but um yeah I saw what was I saying oh my other car I still have it tight I have the registration in my new name but that car's paid off so I have the title in my old name so I have to get the title changed and I left the title at home, and I left all my stuff for my passport at home. So, we do have to go by, by my house, but, okay. So, I'll get back to you guys when I'm in the Duncan line. Ew, I fucking get sick of going there. I just wanna say put a Starbucks by my house, or like anywhere on the way, because I would go to the, you have to go to the title office in your county, and my county's like a bumfuck county, so there's nothing around here. So, yeah. I'm yeah, pulling in now, and this Duncan is like connected to like the cheapest gas station in town, and it literally 
it literally just hit fucking four dollars. You can't zoom it on front camera. Four dollars a gallon. Yeah, and my car needs gas. And my this takes premium, so I'm gonna fucking fill up my car for like a thousand dollars. I'd put you guys on fucking heat pads because literally, I don't understand why this screen looks like it should fucking hold my phone, but it straight but it's like crooked okay listen hi can i get a large iced green tea with six pumps of sugar and three pumps of raspberry not stirred you said three sugar three raspberry six sugar three raspberry okay not stirred not stirred all right anything else that's it. 1.9. Thanks. Okay, so you're supposed to get it not stirred because I know people that have worked here and they use the fucking, the same spoon because like what they start with, they have like one of those like spoons that's like, has like the spinny stuff on it so you can like stir the drink. But um, they use that same spoon for everything and then they let it sit in this like cup of like cleaner Oh my god, their line's moving fast and I need to fucking add money. How much did she say it was? The Dunkin' app is slow as fuck, so I'm embarrassed. Other. Oh my god, these allergies. I hate sounding fucking nasally and gross. But I'll show you what it looks like. So you can just stir it yourself. So you have, cause like, they put it in that like soapy cup and it just sits in that soap for the whole fucking day. What is going on? Other, no, okay. But um, it just sits in that soap all day and it's yuck. And then your drink will taste soapy. Like there's been times where it literally tastes like I was drinking dish soap. Then you quit getting it stirred and then it doesn't, it's fine. Oh my god, I'm getting sick. <laughs> oh, I already had 10 bucks on there. I just added more. Whatever. That means they didn't charge me at the last one because I added that last time I went. Okay. Hi. Okay. Uh, no thanks. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Okay, so. I have you on literally oh my god that looks like um I put you on like the heat but that looks like it should hold a phone straight but it's fucking crooked okay but it should look like this all the sugar's at the bottom don't just drink the sugar because um you'll die or probably get fucking diabetes because like that's brown but then I literally just the most pleasing sound ever and then I kind of drink from the top until it all like messes together but yeah that's what I do so now we're gonna go get my passport picture because I plan to travel to I want to go to Dominican Republic this summer Cancun and I really want to see Canada but I don't know if I'll get there this summer but um, I also really want to go to um Oh, the Valley of Fire. Everyone I tell about that is like, oh, what's that? Like that like thing by the Grand Canyon that everyone goes hiking at and gets like really good pictures. But yeah. Okay. So we're gonna go get my pictures so I'm not distracted driving. I piss people off behind me even more. Okay, it is now almost 1230. And I'm still in the process of getting my passport stuff done because I guess I never had the original copy of my birth certificate. I only had a copy the whole time. Which is weird, because I swear that I had the original whenever I changed my name, but I guess not. So I have to go all the way to the city that I was fucking born, which is only like 30 minutes away, but it's 30 minutes the opposite direction of where the place I take it to is. That's going to be an hour. So I'm not going to be done with that for a little bit, but um, gas is 409 and I'm about to fill up my car. So I want to see how much gas it's going to be to fill up my car. I have like... 62 miles still empty so it's like a little over a quarter tank but 
I'm gonna take a guess and say 65. Gas is 409, but premium. Oh, that's actually lower than I thought. For for 440 for premium. It was 450 at Shell. Whatever I went, but regular was only what the fuck? That doesn't make any sense. Regular was only 360 last time I filled up my car. Wow, it's went up all like 50 cents since the last time. That's crazy. I filled up my car on Friday, and today is Tuesday. But okay, let's see how much it is. Oh, the last person got 60 bucks too. But I'm gonna say like 62 dollars. Oh, no. Filling up for a thousand fucking dollars. I like that I just sat down in my car and I already spent twenty two dollars. I think my tank's like fourteen gallons, so it'll probably stop at like thirteen something. This is crazy. I don't understand why we can't just open the fucking Keystone line. Like literally all the stuff on the Keystone line is sitting there just like fucking abandoned since it was ready for production before fuck they shut it down. I'm out of <laughs> Like, I'm not gonna bitch too much, because, like, what am I gonna fucking do, walk, you know? But, ew, these baby hairs, because I quit getting a lineup, because I want these to grow out, but they're looking a little rough right now. All right, let's check. We're getting close. Let me flip the camera. Oh, shit, 57. That's cheaper than last time I sold up. Okay, not bad, but this place I also get, like, I think I get five cents off, because I have, like, rewards or whatever. I also almost have a free tank, because I have, um like four or seven saved up, but I'm not gonna use that until shit gets really bad. But, okay, 57.83, not horrible. Okay, it's a horrible angle, but <clears throat> I'm driving. So I'm trying to like not wreck, but I wanted to come on here really quick for like a little last thing. I finally got all the passport stuff done. Uh, it is 3.03, I just stopped and had some lunch at, of course, Chick-fil-A, where I always fucking go in every single video, so I'm always there. I didn't even go there that much, I swear. Like, not even like bullshit, like, I just felt like it today. <clears throat> but, now I'm going to Ulta to get some fucking, is someone gonna let me over white? To get some, um, my moisturizer, skincare shit. Um... I use like this vitamin C one. I'll show you guys when I'm in there. But I wanted to have a talk with you about why if your fucking friends aren't like having anything like, oh my God, I can't even fucking get the words right. If they're not contributing anything positive to your life, get the fuck rid of them. I was like obsessed with always hanging out with my friends <clears throat> like every day. I had to be doing something with somebody or I was going to be upset, blah, blah, blah. But then I realized, um, all these people, if my phone calls, I'm gonna freak out. <clears throat> None of these people are contributing anything to my life at all. They're trying to get me to miss my classes, spend too much money, do this, pay for their stuff, actually, because, I mean, not, like, trying to sound like a dick or anything, but I was always the one that, like, had the money, so it's like, oh, well, if Alex has it, I mean, you might as well fucking spend it. Right, that always makes sense. You never get me back. But, <clears throat> moral of the story is, um, a couple months ago, in like mid-November, I left like my main friend group. And it was just like a lot of toxicity and like I would always get blamed for stuff that wasn't happening. Everybody would lash out at each other. It was just not, not something I really wanted to be a part of. It's quite distracting. Not something that I really wanted to be a part of. <clears throat> so I just blocked everybody and went on my... Okay, you fucking bitch. I did not see me... People can't drive. People cannot fucking drive. But, um... So I left that whole situation. And that already started getting me better. Because that was like, okay. I'm saving money because <clears throat> I get to work more. Because I'm not with them every fucking day. Um, I'm going to class because they're not making me stay out every night or making me feel like shit if I miss something to go to school. I'm getting in better shape because I always got made fun of for not being able to hang out <clears throat> because I went to the, I needed to go to the gym, which I'm scheduled for and I pay for to go every night weekly to my trainer, but I get bitched at for not going to that. So that already, three perks, school, work, and gym. So that was already making better. And then <clears throat> I left my 
well, not like left, because like, I mean, she's basically like family to me, but I quit talking to someone that played a pretty big part in my life because she wasn't making the best choices for herself. I can fix you guys now. She wasn't making the best choices for herself and it was out of my control what she was doing. And no matter how many times I tried fixing and helping, it was like talking to a wall. So I just decided like, okay, you're gonna do what you're gonna do. You're gonna go on your little bender bullshit and not listen to anybody. And that's what everyone's gonna have to deal with, but I'm not gonna be part of it because I don't have time for it. So that also gave me more time to focus on myself. So right now, I'm like the only person I have to focus on in my life, which has, <clears throat> I went from like just barely passing college to having, I have all A's in all my classes, perfect attendance. I go to the gym every day. I work my ass off every second of every day. I'm making like, like a shitload more money than I was before. Like probably like three times as much as I was making like four or five months ago which is great and much needed right now with what's going on in the world. But what I'm saying is like, if there aren't people in your life that are motivating you to like actually do something with yourself or they're dogging on you for wanting to miss out on something to do something to better yourself, like you always need to choose yourself first, I'm telling you. Choose your motherfucking self. Because like, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I'm like, oh, I wish I had someone to go do, I need to fix my fucking shirt, my necklace, because the shirt is massive for no reason. But, um, if you're not, like, getting benefited in any way, or you get shit on for benefiting yourself, leave the situation. Because I know, that, like, that's what I was saying. I get lonely sometimes. I'll be like, oh, shit, I wish I had someone to do this with. Like, I wish I had someone to do this with, go on a trip with, blah, blah. So fucking what? Like... I get over it the next day, next day I'm back to work and doing what the fuck I have to do. I'm not saying I don't have any friends, like I'm saying like, I have like people that I talk to on Snapchat and like stuff like that, but like not people that I'm seeing on a daily basis anymore, which I am perfectly okay with. <laughs> like I do not give a fuck, <clears throat> but that's my little spiel on why you should drop your friends. But okay, we're gonna go into Ulta and get this, then we have to hurry up and I have to go home and change because I have to get ready for the gym. So. Yeah. And there's a little peek at my car that got wrapped. I'm like, my hands are really full right now, so I look like a fucking dumbass. But I also got some paddle shifter extenders, and I'm gonna get like a um, Alcantara steering wheel, like here, and probably on the edges. But uh, yeah. Also, they like raised the price. Of my moisturizer because I bought this same one and my cousin was on Black Friday the same exact thing it's the bio <laughs> volumen vitamin C gel moisturizer I love it because it smells like oranges and it makes your skin look nice as fuck but I was like $38 whenever I got it on Black Friday I don't have like rewards or anything thought it was gonna be $38 again $69.71 I was like okay but I needed it, so I got it. But anyways, that's probably where I'm going to end this video off because I'm just going to the gym and I'm probably just going to do homework and stuff for the rest of the day. So yeah, I am officially back. So you guys can like, follow, subscribe, do whatever the fuck. But yeah, <laughs> bye guys.